Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. I'm gonna go over two problems from the chapter review at the end of chapter 11 in my IB Math Analysis book. I'm gonna go over problems 24 and 26. They are also good practice problems for the IB exam. Laminated over night on a CNC cut. Okay, I'm starting on number 24 here. A student asked me about this one. I've done it 10 times and checked it in the back of the book. Uh, and I think, in fact, there's a typo. So it says, consider a trapezium A, B, C, D. Trapezium is the same as a trapezoid. And it should say A, D is equal to B, C. So consider a trapezoid A, B, C, D with A, D equal to B, C. So those two are equal. And A, B is parallel to D, C. So that's actually what it should say. Given that AB is equal to 12 centimeters, BC is 13 centimeters, and CD is 22 centimeters. So those are all of the givens. Um, so if that's 13, this is also 13 because they're equal. And then it says, part A says, so the height is 12 centimeters so there's my height right there that'll form a right angle i'm going to draw the same one on this side if this overall length is 12 this overall length is 22 22 minus the 12 gives me 10 so the length of this plus this is 10 i divide that by 2 to get this length is 5 5 and then this is 12 to give me the 22 centimeters so then I have a right triangle here, five squared plus what squared equals 13 squared. So it's Pythagorean triple, five squared plus a squared equals 13 squared, and a squared equals 144, a squared equals square root of 144, so a is equal to 12. So that's this height right here is 12. Part B, so our answer to A is height equals 12 centimeters. Part B is find the area of the trapezium. Area of a trapezoid is the median times the height. So the median is base one plus base two divided by two times a height of 12. So I have 17 times 12, right, 22 plus 12 divided by two, 17 times 12 centimeters times centimeters is 204 square centimeters. Part C is find the size of angle C so find the measure of this angle here. So find that red angle there, angle C. So I have tangent of angle C equals opposite over adjacent. And then I take the arctan in degree mode, second tangent of 12 divided by five, and I get 67 degrees. So angle C is 67 degrees. And then lastly, calculate the length of the diagonal AC. So diagonal AC would go from A to C. That's not a very diagonal straight line. So I could do log cosines and make it kind of complicated, or I could just see that this would be a right triangle here. This height here would be 12, right? That over there would just be 12. This length here would be the 12 and the five. So in this black triangle here, I would have 17 for one leg, 12 for the other leg, and then the hypotenuse AC would be equal to the square root of 17 squared plus 12 squared. One leg squared plus the other leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So answer D there 
is the square root of the quantity 17 squared plus 12 squared and that gives me 20.8. So that's answer to 24D. I might have made a mistake, but that was the only way I could figure out how to do 24, that it was in fact a typo in the book. Um, these answers match up with the answers in the back of the book, uh, and it makes the most sense. So that's 24. Okay, the next one I want to go over was problem 26. It's a really good problem and a spatial, spatial reasoning. So the first thing I'm going to do is transfer the diagram in the book to my paper and then transfer the paragraph to my drawing. You can see I'm using almost a full sheet of paper here. So the diagram shows this cuboid, the vertex F, this vertex F is the origin. So that coordinate there is 0, 0, 0. This vertex C, the outside corner, is 8, 10, 6. That's always x, y, z. This is my x-axis, my y-axis, and going up is z. So I go over 8 units in x. I go over 10 units in y. And I go up 6 units in z. So those are my coordinates there. All of the faces are parallel to the coordinate planes. Okay, and then part A says, find the length of the diagonal of the cuboid. So the way I'm going to do that is it's a three-dimensional distance formula. So it's going to be the square root of the x, 2 minus x1, 8 minus 0 is 8 squared plus y2 minus y1, 10 minus 0 is 10 squared, plus z2 minus z1, 6 minus 0 is 6, squared 36. So part A is the square root of 200. 200 is made up of a 100 and a 2. 100 is a pair of 10s. So for every pair one comes out, that leaves me with 10 root 2. So part A says, so the length of the diagonal is 10 root 2, and I use a three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem to do that. Part B, determine the coordinate of the midpoint of segment AD. So this is segment AD. I'm going to put the midpoint in here, and I'm going to call that midpoint M. So that midpoint there is M. The coordinates for that midpoint, we just kind of figure this out, is that in this x plane, I go half of the way down the edge of the box. So in x, I go 4. In y, I come out 0. And then in z, it's at the top of the box, which is 6. So the coordinate of that midpoint is 4, 0, 6. Move to the next part of the problem. Part C, find the distance between the point F and M. So find this distance here. So I'm finding the distance between the coordinate 0, 0, 0 and the coordinate 4, 0, 6. Again, that's a three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem. 4 minus 0 squared plus 0 minus 0 squared plus 6 minus 0 squared. So it's equal to the square root of 52. And I think the square root of 52 is a 4 and a 13, or 2 root 13. Part D, find the perimeter of triangle CFM. So triangle CFM goes from C to F to M. Hard to see it. So it's that triangle right there. The red leg of that triangle, that was part A, so that red leg is 10 root 2. This leg right here, FM, in blue there, is 2 root 13. And then we have to find the length of that black leg. 
is going to be the coordinate of it, 406, and the coordinate 8106. So it's going to be the square root of 8 minus 4 squared, 16, plus 10 minus 0 squared, 100, plus 6 minus 6, 0 squared. So I have 10 root 2 is one leg, plus 2 root 13 is the next leg, plus the square root of 116. And then as you see in the problem here, it says give your answer exactly. So give your answer exactly means the exact value without a calculator. So that means I have to simplify this radical and see if any of them are similar and I could combine them. So 116 is a 58 and a 2. 58, what is 25, 29 and a 2. And then 29's a prime. So here's a pair of twos for every pair one comes out. So I'm left with two root 29. And I have 10 root two plus two root 13 plus the third side two root 29. And then lastly, what I'm trying to do here is find the measure AMF. So I could see it's gonna be a right triangle, a red right triangle I drew in there. There's a right angle. This Z was up six. I came down half of eight for four. So I'm going to redraw that triangle. Where the opposite will be six. The adjacent will be four. This would be, A would be my right angle. F would be my vertex up here and M down here. I could find this hypotenuse here by doing A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So this is the square root of 16 plus 36, square root of 52. So that is square root of 52. Uh, and I'm finding the angle AMF, the cosine of AMF. So cosine of that angle theta, cosine of that angle theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Then from there, I need to simplify it to exact value problem. So 52 is made up of a 26 and a two. 26 is a 13 and a two. For every pair, one comes out. So that's equal to four over two root 13. Then I could cancel here. Two will go into there once and twice. They give me two over root 13. Rationalize the denominator. It'll multiply by root 13 over root 13 to give me 2 root 13 over 13. So it says prove that's equal to root 10 over 10. It's not. It's actually equal to 2 root 13 over 13. Also on this one, in the back of the book, they have this is the correct answer to 26E. Okay, well, hopefully doing those two problems will help a little bit. Um, this is chapter 11 review in the Oxford analysis and approaches standard level, a um, couple of typos. So hopefully that'll help you work your way through those problems. Thank you for watching. This is Jonathan at Colfax Math. Uh, if you like the video, hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.